Watch out Wearable sent me a new product, the Borophone BE10 Transformer earphones that they are bringing to Indian shows and I am really excited to try them out. The BE10 can be used as a stereo earphone or a mono bluetooth headset and we'll see exactly how that works. The box has a very premium look to it and the stylish packaging left me wondering what the price point of this device would be and we'll speak about that at the end of this video. The contents of the box are fairly intricate and include the BE10 transformer kit which is a monopod and a stereo earbuds pair. So to cut to the chase, this toggle like device is the Optimus Prime of this transformer earphone and it looks really premium thanks to the diamond cut chamfering process. It's water resistant so you don't have to worry about spills and splashes. The BE10 is powered by a 3.7V 50mAh battery and it has an LED indicator and a noise cancelling microphone on board. The box also includes a stereo earphone, a carrying case, a USB cable, extra ear tips and an ear hook, some documentation, but I think the documentation is inadequate considering it's a new device. Pairing the BE10 was a fairly simple process and you have to hold the power button to start the disc key. After you've paired the device, plug this into the small mono earpiece and it's a Bluetooth headset for receiving calls on the fly. Plug it into the earphone module and it's a wireless earphone offering punchy stereo sound. Let's start with the monopod experience. The monopod mode offers good call clarity and adequate volume for hearing the other party and the in-ear fit is secure thanks to an ear hook. Picking up calls is done using an on-device key which offers decent feedback. You also get a volume up-down rocker which can skip tracks on long pressing but the placement of the volume keys feels unintuitive. The monopod mode also plays music but this is a bad experience. Increasing volumes results in distorted tones and sound leaks outside. Instrumental notes sound really dull. So the monopod mode is best suited for making phone calls. The stereo earphone is a whole new story. The sound is good and blew me away. The BE10 produces good bass and crispy sound. The earbuds are ergonomically designed and may remind users of the one more piston fit and the cable quality is really good. I tried these for about 2-3 to three hours at a stretch but they didn't cause me any ear fatigue which is great. While they sound really good, the fit and utility of the mode left me clueless because of the complex tangle of the cables. Trying to figure the right layout the very first time left me choking myself and I'm not even exaggerating. And when I did get them to look like they're probably intended to, I felt I'd connected a Walkman to my earbuds, which I believe beats the whole purpose of having a quality wireless earphone. None of my friends liked the design, but the earbuds are very comfortable in the ear and I thoroughly liked the sound. The company recommends wearing the stereo earphones like a neckband or a pendant but I'm not sure this style would suit many. If the BE10 had some onboard storage, it would have been great. The BE10 has a female assistant built inside which tells you status updates like power on, battery level or the notification of an incoming call. The company is also trying to offer an incoming caller readout feature. The BE10 has a dual color notification LED but I wished we had a percentage battery indication on our phones. The assistant tells us if you have a low battery, but it's super annoying how frequently she keeps on blurting battery low, battery low, even when I'm already searching for my charging cable. The B10 charges via micro USB and USB-C would have been great. Since this is a tiny device with a small battery and input voltage, using typical micro USB chargers that you have lying around will destroy this battery. So you'll have to keep most Samsung and Motorola fast chargers away. So charging the BE10 is slightly tricky, I believe. You'll compulsorily have to charge this using a laptop's USB port. The battery life is average and a full charge needed about 2 hours. I couldn't reach the claimed music playback of 4 hours and you'll surely have to charge this device once in 2 days if you plan on using this regularly. An issue I faced with my review unit is a stuttered playback when I was listening to music with my phone placed about 3-4 to four feet away. And I hope this is an off case and the company fixes this in a software updates. So let's summarize the BE10. It's a cool concept that gives users the freedom to switch between a monopod and a fantastic stereo earphone mode to use with an array of devices. The BE10 offers good sound in a durable and attractive package but a user manual ought to have been included as this is a brand new concept. It does have some rough edges like some streaming lag, battery life some tricky charging designs and decisions and a design which may not have fans. I'm expecting the company to price this at about the rupees 2000 price mark and at this price I think it's a great product to try out. Big thanks to Watchout for sending me a review unit. If you like this product, do buy it from the Watchout wearables website linked below and do hit the like button and subscribe for lot more videos like this.